today is a very, very exciting day because I'm actually going on a flight today. I'm going somewhere, I'm traveling. I'm super, super excited because the last time I did this was in March uh, when I just arrived back from Germany. So yeah, it's been a while since I've had that sense of like packing for a trip and the feeling of about to go on a flight and go somewhere new. So safe to say I'm very, very excited this morning. So I just need to get my suitcase and it's deep in storage. I don't think that's ever been the case with my suitcase. It's always been like in the middle of my room if I'm ever home. I think in the course of five years, I've never gone so long without needing my suitcase. Reunited at last. Ooh, my trusty packing cubes. These are the best when traveling, especially when you travel like all the time, having everything sorted into different little bags is like the best thing ever. But I don't think I will use them today. Um, so I'll just put that aside. Oh look, a peanut. Hi Bella, I miss you. So dad is driving me to the airport today. Thank you very much dad. And um, I'm getting all of those pre-flight jitters, that pre-travel excitement that I haven't felt in a really long time. You're going to go to nice restaurants and you're not going to take me. Yeah. What <laughs> am I going to eat while you're gone? <laughs> okay, I don't know. You can have a break from Chinese food for a couple of weeks. So it's not time for a trip to the international airport just yet. So that might give you a hint to where I'm heading today. Somewhere in Australia. Ah, airport smell. I will see you in a few weeks, Dad. Okay, bye. I'll miss you. Bye. Wear your mask. I will. Look at this, quite a, quite a few people. It looks kind of normal. Melbourne, woo. Lol, just taking off my last bag tag, which was from Dubai on my way back from Germany. 20th of March, <laughs> shit. So I filmed this video back on the 3rd of December. Back then, Australia was experiencing a month with no COVID cases nationwide. And as a result, state borders opened up for domestic travel. Uh, but 2020, it was a fickle thing because a few days before Christmas, there was suddenly a cluster of COVID cases in Sydney's Northern Beaches. So all the state borders shut again and remain so right now as I post this video. So I'm very grateful that I was able to make the most of that brief ability to travel domestically because I can't do that right now anymore. So I am here in Melbourne. I am so unbelievably excited. I'm even more excited because my Uber driver for today is someone very special. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. Well, don't look at the car. It's really messy. Okay. <laughs> it's been under. Oh my God! What is going on here? It's been under a tree for months. Oh. And my. I haven't had a chance to clean it. Holy guacamole. Touch him up. Okay, mum won't see this video. <laughs> Hello, pretty Uber driver. Hello, rate me five stars, please. <laughs> I will. I'm um, a better driver than you. Oh, what I'm the actually F? going the speed limit. Shut up. Um, so you came down last week when the borders just opened, yes. right? So Beck actually lives here in Melbourne. She came down last week um, just as the borders opened. Yeah, just before lockdown, wasn't it? You came back to Sydney and mm -hmm. came back up with us, which was awesome. So we've all been together as a family for a, for a good six months or so, but now she's back here, and but now I get to see her again. I can't wait to see how uh, the Chinese food in Melbourne compares to Chinese food in Sydney. I am excited too. I want to come eat with me sometime. Oh, absolutely. That'd be fun. I would never say no. Oh, we could do like a Melbourne vegetarian Chinese food tour. Yes, 100%. That would be so I already fun. have some places on my wish list. Really? Melbourne is a city of food. You could literally eat at a different place every meal for yeah. the rest of your life, and you'd still be trying something new. Uh, by the way, why do you have like a... A, uh, a toasted sandwich maker in the car. Yay, I've been hanging out for this moment 
first coffee in Melbourne. First thing you need to know about Melbourne is that the coffee culture here is insane. It's packed of these cute little cafes everywhere that all serve amazing coffee. Um, I think the reason why Melbourne has such good coffee has something to do with the migration of a lot of Greek and Italians back in the day. And for that reason, you'll also find a lot of Greek and Italian restaurants here in Melbourne. So I'm currently here on Port Melbourne Beach. Um, when I come to Melbourne, I stay with family that live just around the corner um, in Albert Park. Um, so I love coming here, getting a coffee. They have a beautiful little beach walk that I like to do in the mornings. Uh, Melbourne definitely has a very different vibe to Sydney. Um, and there is somewhat of a, how would I say, rivalry between these two cities. Both Melbourne and Sydney think that they're the best city in Australia. And actually our capital city in Australia, which is Canberra, was created because Sydney and Melbourne couldn't decide which one was going to be the capital. So they made it literally exactly in the middle. My opinion is both cities are great. I enjoy spending time in both of them. I feel like Sydney has some things um, that Melbourne doesn't have and Melbourne has some things that Sydney doesn't have. So for example, Sydney has better beaches. You know, this is okay, but Sydney really does write the book when it comes to beaches. Um, whereas Melbourne does better coffee and has better coffee culture in general. Um, and not just coffee culture, brunch culture. Brunch is like a city pastime here. So Port Melbourne here is also home to the Spirit of Tasmania, which is basically this boat that takes you from Melbourne to Tasmania. So on the map of Australia, you can see that Melbourne is on the very southeast coast of Australia and all that's separating Melbourne and Tasmania, that little island off the coast of Australia is just some sea. So you can take that boat, take your car and do a little trip around uh, Tasmania, which uh, we are planning to do. Uh, we're planning a family vacation to Tasmania for February, so expect some vlogs. <laughs> One last thing I had planned for my time here in Melbourne was a subscriber meetup, so I'm heading there now. But I thought on the way there I would show you this street here. It's very famous. It's called Hosier Lane. And it's famous because it has all this amazing street art on it. It's a really cool vibe here. Okay, now that I've shown you that, it is time to go to the Melbourne meetup. I'm so excited about this. I was hoping to have been able to do this a lot earlier in the year because I was planning to come to Melbourne a lot earlier in the year. But of course, with lockdowns and everything, I had to delay that. So yeah, excited to meet some of you guys and uh, have some fun. Hello. Um, I live, the, the suburb I live in Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, it's really close to, I would say the biggest Asian supermarket in Melbourne. Oh, fantastic. And they have all these, um, Asian grocery and I and, ju and something just came out to my mind you know what I might get her a Chinese package <laughs> yeah. okay should I open it yeah. hey, what have we got in here <gasps> oh oh my gosh Glossophon oh I just bought it <gasps> an hour ago um, um, oh I said no tell me oh my god oh my god that is the coolest yeah. holy moly I'm so gonna eat that yeah. right now oh Oh, what's this? Do, do, you, do you guys have had this before? Uh, no, I've never seen that. Because like in China, because every single uh, I'll, I'll show you now. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, it's I'll, like I'll a rice, it. rice crisps. Yeah. And then, what if it... <gasps> oh, white presents! Oopsies. Yeah. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, guys, we all have to eat these together. Yeah, yeah. So, it started raining, so we have come here <laughs> under the trees. Yay! <laughs> you know, knowing Melbourne, it'll be sunny in two minutes anyway. But for now, everyone is just in small groups, getting to know each other. Everyone's super sweet, having a great time. Mm. Oh yeah, so good. What a sweetheart. Now, <laughs> welcome yeah. to Melbourne. Welcome, welcome to Melbourne. Melbourne. Yay! So nice to meet you guys, and yeah, stay tuned for some Melbourne food videos coming up. Um, bye guys. Bye. bye. I am so, so excited to share with you guys my Melbourne Chinese food adventures in the coming weeks, so stay tuned.